Research uh, nowadays really is interdisciplinary. You have uh, biology, chemistry, medicine, physics, all coming together. Um, it's the same for the samples. The samples are also interdisciplinary. You will have different sized small molecules, polymers, particles together. For a long time, uh, uh, people, scientists all over the world have been using detection uh, systems to characterize or in order to try to characterize uh, their samples. Uh, but more and more um, people have learned that uh, it's a separation technique is, uh, which is really sitting in the driver's seat. Ensemble or, or batch, uh, batch uh, techniques are um, actually very powerful, but they can be even empowered more uh, by adding a separation technique in front of them. So the sample they're getting is already separated and they can just do a better job. We have seen that already uh, for smaller and medium-sized molecules where first we had GC and uh, LC to characterize them and then later the hyphenation came where we had LC and uh, GCMS systems. Uh, but actually for particles, for, for larger molecules and particles, there hasn't been no such hyphenation. For separation of complex samples, there is actually one technique which is ideal that is field flow fractionation. The advantage is that it can separate molecules and particles at the same time simultaneously in one run. Field flow fractionation can be thought of as chromatography for particles. But unlike chromatography, it's not using a separation column, it's using an open flow channel without stationary phase inside. Inside that channel, actually separation is achieved by applying an external field perpendicular to the main flow. FFF comes in different variants, all using the same separation principle, but actually different separation fields. Flow FFF is a technique using a cross flow as separation field. It's ideal for biopharmaceutical samples and it can separate monomer, oligomer, and even higher aggregates from each other. Centrifugal FFF is ideal for particle characterization. It can be used for separating gold nanoparticles, silica, titanium dioxide, carbon nanotubes and it even is able to differentiate the shape of the particles. Thermal FFF is a polymer separator. It can be used to characterize the most complex macromolecules. One very popular application for thermal FFF is the characterization of natural rubber. It's able to separate the polymer, branched polymers, and also cross-linked gel particles. Within the array of detectors, which can be used for the characterization platform, multi-angle light sketching is very important. It provides sensitive detection on the one hand, but also you can get absolute molar mass and particle size for molecules and particles. Dynamic light sketching is ideal when particle characterization is the main goal. In combination with the separation technique such as FFF, it provides high resolution particle size distributions. Furthermore, mass spectrometry, especially ICPMS, can be connected to the platform. It provides another dimension to the separation process because it allows the detection of elements with high sensitivity. For the future, there is much more to come. An advantage of the platform is that it is future-proof. Any new technology or module can be directly used within the existing system. When you look at charged molecules or particles and two-dimensional separations, especially electrical FFF is expected to play an important role in the future in the area of nanomedicine, for example.